Hi guys, this is Irina. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a wonderful day as we're going to learn the last case of the nouns that is called the prepositional case or предложный падеж. It responds to the questions who about and what about and sometimes where. Let's look at the following slide. Предложный падеж Responds to the questions what about, о чем, who about, о ком, where, где. In all the examples that you'll see in a minute, each noun will go together with the preposition about, that in Russian sounds as о or об. If the first letter of a noun is a consonant, we should use the preposition о. And, on the contrary, if the first letter of a noun is a vowel, the preposition will be об. Okay? The prepositional case is easy. We'll see only four different endings. First, let's look at the noun endings in singular form and then at some examples. Girlfriend Padruga A Padrugi Error A Shipka A Bashipke Uncle Dadia A Dadi Son Sonce A Sonce Sky Nieba, a niebie. Soldier, soldat, a soldati. Daughter, doch, a docheri. Horse, loshat, a loshadi. Please note that the preposition o is always pronounced as a ah, because it's not a stressed vowel. Они получили информацию о стульях. Они получили информацию о стульях. Она узнала обо всех его махинациях. Она узнала обо всех его махинациях. Good. If you remember the instrumental case and the noun endings there in plural form, you know that there were only two endings. The same thing happens in the prepositional case. Of course, the endings will be different, but there will be only two of them. Let's look at the examples and then at some sentences. Mums, mamy, a mamach. Uncles, dadi, a dadiach. Windows, okna, a boknach. Buckets, wiodra, a wiodrach. Closets, Шкафы, а шкафах. Sofas, диваны, а диванах. Doors, двери, а дверях. Mice, мыши, а мышах. Мы говорили с ним об автомобилях. Мы говорили с ним об автомобилях. Она была помешана на компьютерах. Она была помешана на компьютерах. Excellent! 
So guys, today we finished studying the cases of nouns in Russian language. You know, it's quite a difficult topic to learn even for the native speakers. And I'm sure that when you only start learning Russian language, you may have a lot of questions. But here I am, and you can ask me whatever you want in the comment section below this video. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching me. In the next lesson, we'll do some practice so you can understand better the cases of nouns. I think it may be really helpful for you. So, please be ready. Take care. Bye for now.